Is he blind? It's like a fundraiser for blind people. <laughs> uh oh, the ring entrance. Oh, oh. Some people call me sexy. Others say I'm sensuous. Okay, she was definitely acoustic. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Dynamite intro. This is Lush. My goodness, are you prepared to get awkward? Never. Well, that's what we're doing today. Let's take a look at some awkward clips slash interactions. You can't turn the black cock black. Uh, we can't turn the <laughs> clock back. I know it's after midnight. We can't turn the clock back and turn it back into the mid 80s. I'm dead. You I'm dead. You can't turn the black cock black. Uh, we can't turn the Ooh. clock back. I know it's after midnight. We can't turn the clock back. <laughs> And turn it back into the mid '80s. Wow. Like of all the players that could have been on screen too, like you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of different players in the MLB, and just, the other announcer just going, "Woo!" <laughs> hey, let's, let's see that one hey coming. Like, I love a good sports announcer slip up. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's so many. There's a lot of Chris Collinsworth one, Chris Collinsworth ones where he's just like the way he talks, it just sounds like he's ogling over the men. Like, oh, there's some big old boys down there, like just rolling around. There's some mad ones too. You try. Oh no, don't blow it. Oh. Gosh. oh. Stop, dude. No. Use the backboard. Come on, he has to be special, right? Like how? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Is he blind? It's like a fundraiser for blind people? <laughs> what was the first shot? I almost just called you by your real first name, okay? But look at the first <laughs> shot. Hold on, here he comes. And God. Wait, is that supposed to be, that comment's supposed to be what I think it is. Is he acoustic? <laughs> what? Yes, man needs to shoot a couple free throws if My he's going to be doing stuff like that. that. Well, I wasn't going to be mean, okay, but here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're absolutely right. What do you do? Uh, here, I'm a bartender, a bouncer, an Uber driver, and back home, I'm a firefighter in the military. Damn. Man of many traits. Oh, yeah. Very inspiring. Jack, all right, so. Jack of all, master of none. So what is the craziest thing that's happened to you? Ever? And, oh, well, if you want to give me ever, college, whatever. Just hit me with it. <laughs> so, I went to Tulane for Halloween weekend. Um, oh, What? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Dude just literally like, oh, in a fight, walks over and just rallies the first person he sees. Like That is. <laughs> that was wild. I was wondering where that was going. I was like, I is he going to say it. something awkward? And she's just like, oh, shit. Ah! Classic college. Excuse me. Could you please record me for just a second? Oh, I've seen that. I, this woman is, and her name's Sandy. Stop recording me! Oh, my God, what? Grandma Sandy. I've actually done a video on some of the stuff she used to do really? years ago. She went like viral on TikTok because she would just take bottles of Coke and do like the Mentos thing oh. and just pretend like she didn't know it was going to happen and just be like, oh, and it would like blow up in her face. And she would just recreate that. And then she got this one where she would like take a chocolate cake and like scream and put her face in this it and get it. It's like kind of sad. You should just be relaxing in retirement, enjoying time with your family, and you're doing like real cringe on the internet to go viral and get attention. I'm sure her family's involved. I know like her, maybe her daughter sure. son's involved in some respect. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta see this first shot one more time. Just one more, one more for the people you in the back. just had to? And we missed the whole ass back. <laughs> How is that possible, dude? Talk it up the stage, right? Sure. Uh oh, the ring entrance. Oh, oh, oh. And he just, oh, oh my God, what the heck? What did Titus just? I can't believe what I just saw. It's awesome. He's lucky there were no tables under there. Right. Very important people. Oh, my God, just literally goes under the so ring. Oh, that would have been so much worse if that was like a hard side to that or something. That's awesome. So much worse or so much better? Oh, wow. <laughs> well played, Mrs. Lush. Awkward first sleepover. Did you choke? Hmm? No. No, I'm good. My bad. I didn't mean to get you wet. I didn't get you wet, right? No. Right? You'll probably be wet in a minute. I was joking. Oh. What does that mean? Hmm? Did you see this little thing I got? This has to be a scam, right? If you touch it on its head, it gives you superpowers. No, 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. He's he's actually pretty good at being amazingly awkward. I and hated it. Feels it. Like, it's yeah, like, too it's awkward tough to watch. I feel like, but that like that's like his thing. Maybe he's good at doing that, so he makes skits out of it. Fair play, you man. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I live in the West End Pretend Valley. Pardon. Me. Hi, oh. <laughs> I'm Jana. I'm looking for. Someone to eat that I'm cake. I'm gonna tell you, you found him. He's right here. Yeah. <laughs> I will eat the shit out Me of that too. cake. I will also join. And do whatever you want for a day if I can have that cake. I'm not sure. Hello. Uh, My name is Ellen. Some people call me sexy. Others say I'm sensuous. Okay, she was definitely acoustic. <laughs> to call back to the comment on oh, the video. Oh, <laughs> dang. Hi, I'm Linda. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, when I'm not using my doctor of pharmacy to troubleshoot a large healthcare computer system, I'm over at the gym pumping iron or driving my black Porsche with the wind blowing through my oh hair. Oh, my, Linda. And singing along with Anita Baker's Rapture of Love. I have two cats, <laughs> and I don't know how to ride a horse. And my goal in life is to have my own religion. I have a feeling I know where she ended up. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you know? She made it. She went on to be some cult leader. Yeah, exactly. A big cult leader. And she's dead now, along with 35 of her disciples. I'm looking for a romanticist. Ooh. Spend time at the fireplace. That was very fun. I yeah. could just watch all those. <laughs> <laughs> this is 1980s dating show B-roll clips. You probably had to... Well, you would have had to get them on like VHS or something like that. And like... Oh, yeah. Subscribe to a dating setup company of sorts? No, like, that that looks like it was clips from some sort of television show. Like, that certainly wasn't like a... I don't know. I don't think that was submissions. I think they went to a studio and were recorded. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Backdrop. but couldn't they, like, take a bunch of videos and then try to match people up that way? Certainly, yeah. I but that I'm they were dating companies, that's, and that's how they did it. Oh, okay, yeah. Sir, that's what I'm saying. I just... The, people weren't recording it on their iPhone in the 80s. No, I but know I, that. I just mean it's like a centralized thing where people are going to a location to film sure. these. And then maybe that company's trying to find their match by, yeah, I don't, that might have been how they did it back then. There'll be someone that's old enough to know. Do you remember <laughs> the classified ads? Yes. Oh my God. Of course I do. That's crazy. So yeah. when I was super, like super young, early 90s, classified people used to put ads in the newspaper, like looking for a partner. This is my thing. It was like Craigslist before the internet happened. I would love to see what people would write. I bet there's definitely got to be an archive of old classified yeah. ads. We need to jot that down and do that sometime. Remember that, because I won't. My most That's my happy place right there. That so. I will never recover from. Is she doing the stanky leg? Yeah. <laughs> nice. That actually, I like that one. That made the whole take. It, it totally did. I liked it. End. Yeah, I'm just going to stanky like here for the night. Do you remember that video? Where that was our, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, oh. uh, probably one of the hardest times I've ever laughed yes. on this channel. Was that skit? And I don't. If some OGs might remember if you're watching. Are you this. gonna pull it up? I think I'm gonna stanky leg here for the night and uh, <laughs> head back on the road tomorrow. <laughs> I can't see them again. Come on. You enjoyed that? You want to do a stanky leg? You want to show us your prison? Want me to help you find a spot to do it in? <laughs> I can't. Please. All right. Please, let's let's move on from ourselves. I can't. Oh my do it. God. I Please. love it. That eight second video will live in my brain rent free for the rest of my life. And I just can't. Holy I'm so glad. How did that even come up? Just stanky I, leg. Because the girl was doing it in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. She was doing the stanky leg. And then she died. Oh, good times had by all. Put a finger down if your college boyfriend invited you to his family's Christmas for the first time. And because his family is so large, they do white elephant instead of normal presents. And your boyfriend told you. What the hell is white elephant? It's like a Yankee swap. Okay. Told you they usually do really silly ones. So you went to Target and you picked out something that you thought was really funny and wrapped it up all nice and you were excited for somebody to open it. And then flash forward to the family gathering, you were walking around his grandma's house and you found this photo of a bunch of people hanging on the wall and his grandma walked up to you and started pointing out all of her friends in the photo who had died and most of them were dead and you didn't know what to say, but luckily somebody said it was time for presents and so you go sit down. And they do youngest to oldest and nobody was picking out your presents 
present and you started getting kind of nervous and your boyfriend asked you if it was okay if his grandma opened your present and you didn't know what to say but it was too late because there she was picking out your present and then she goes to open it and she unwraps this. <laughs> Just unfortunate timing that grandma just had the talk with you that all her friends are actually dead. But she can relate because she's kind of a dinosaur now. She's old, as grandmas are. Yeah, she's extinct. Grandma's well, extinct. Evil laugh contest. Oh, it's a minute and 22. <laughs> okay. So this is clearly at like some sort of nerd con or like PAX or just like, yeah. yeah. these are people that live in basements and spend all day on Discord and Twitch and only ever see the sun once a year to go to these conventions to be inside with other people like this. Okay. Love them. I am one of these people at heart in my World of Warcraft days, but this is gonna be tough to watch. No, no, no. Secondhand awkwardness. My name's Brian, and I'll be doing it last year. I'm fucking having the time of my life. You are? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Can we get one of Mrs. Lush evil laugh or what? No, you gotta Come do on. It. God, no. My name is Don. Okay. I could hear that in like a video game voiceover. Totally. Yeah. That was good. I think he was overqualified. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Don's done some VO. Don's that. done some VO before. I mean it was the whole thing was kind of cringe, but I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. They're just out there doing what they love on, all right? Lay off them. It's fine. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I would end up taking 10 takes just to say the same thing. And um, yeah, it got pretty embarrassing. Yo guys, it's Morg. Yo guys, it's Morgs. And today, me and the squad. Yo guys, it's Morgs. And today. Yo guys, it's Morg. Oh, man. Yo guys, it's Morg. It's Morgs. Yo, guys, it's more. <coughs> Holy crap. Dude, a little so behind wait, the scenes. he has a documentary. It says the real Morgs documentary out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is that what he's like so prepping he, in the beginning? Like 10 takes just to say the same thing. Is he cringing at himself, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's self aware now. Yeah. Wow. I know we did a video on Morgs. Uh, a long he, time ago. He, you know, he's like a young adult now in his 20s or whatever. And from what I've seen, clips of him, he finally broke away from that thing. I mean, he made so much money. He eventually was like, hey, let me take my tens of millions of dollars and I can actually be a real human being. And everywhere, like, obviously we knew, like, that was a bit. Yeah. But, yeah. like, his parents were the worst, too. But oh, I, I'd be yeah. curious to watch that because he took a lot of flack. But from what I understand, he's actually just, like, a really nice dude. Okay. Yeah. So. Good for you, Morgs. Give him the credit. Yeah. God bless him. Just from, I know, so, like I know nice some, man, some other UK YouTubers that, like, were it, critical of him in the commentary scene sure. over the years. Or, like, yeah, I met him in real life. He's just, like, the nicest bulk. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the best outcome possible. He's got the confetti haircut, which we need to get rid of that. But, you know, that's that's the popular. That's what they do now. Are you ready? Are you single and available? That's me. That's me. I'm single and available. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Cringe. Single I'm going to throw up. You can stop me if you want. Oh, thank you. I was, I was trying to... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Okay, I will. Thank you. So she was, there was that I guy. Will. Was okay, I'm single and available, though. Oh, All right. okay. That's the worst, dude. I get that you're trying to make a funny video, but fail. <laughs> you just made me want to die. And, and everyone you, inside You of just Starbucks. look desperate and not funny at all. Well, my skin has crawled enough for one video. I am not single and available. No. You are taken. That's oh damn God. right. You know why? Why? Did you make your pex dance? Just make my pex dance. Okay. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I reeled her in. The shoulders and the peck dance and the long hair. Yeah. And zero dollars in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we appreciate you guys being here. We love you. Thank you so much. Please don't do the Starbucks bit. If you're single and available, just put out a classified ad. Or go on Tinder. Or go on Tinder or the 80s dating show that we watched earlier. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.